Hi everyone, it's Joe here from Finance Spotlight. I'm just going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use the Debt vs. Investing Calculator. What this calculator does is it helps you determine whether it's more beneficial to either settle your debt or to save uh, any excess cash flow that you might have. So let's get started and we'll walk through an example quickly. The way it works is uh, you fill out your information. So let's for example say I've got a, a home loan of 660000 I pay 8.5% interest on that and it's over a 20 year period. Based off, off of that information, I should be paying about 5,700 Rand on a monthly basis. The total interest I'll pay over that period is 487,000. So that is uh, how the home loan stands at the moment. But my my excess cash flow, for example, is let's say 10,000 Rand a month. And I've got a choice of either investing that in, in, I've got a choice of investing that in, let's say, Satrix, and Satrix might yield me an annual return of, let's say, 15%. Uh, over the, right. So, what this calculator will do is it will take that 10,000 and it will assume that you took that and used it to pay off the debt. If you did that, if you invest the or if you use the ten thousand to settle the debt, the home loan would, would have been repaid after four point three years instead of twenty. This would result in you only paying one hundred twenty four thousand rand interest instead of four hundred and eighty seven thousand. So the saving from using the ten thousand and uh, pumping it into your debt is first off you reduce the term from 20 years to 4.3 so it's a 15.8 year saving in terms of time plus you would not have paid the 362,000 in terms of interest because you paid the loan off easy uh, uh, quicker sorry but from the investment standpoint uh, investing 10,000 Rand every month for 4.3 years would have uh, um, given you a capital, well, would have cost you 500,000 on a monthly basis because 4.3 years is 50, year, uh, 50 months. But the growth on that 500,000 is 207,000. So what you have to do is you have to compare the capital growth of your investment against the saving on the interest that you wouldn't have paid. And this graph on the side here represents that. You can see that the settling debt far exceeds the benefit from investing. Uh, the notes on the bottom here is a simple breakdown of that information. So it tells you that the debt will be settled after 4.3 years instead of 20. The capital outlay of 500,000 if invested would have grown by 207,000 at an interest return of 15% over that 4.3 year period. If the capital outlay of 500,000 was rather used to settle the debt, there would have been a saving of 362,000. The conclusion at the bottom here will tell you what, uh, what the recommended uh, course of action is. It will tell you, therefore, paying off the debt provides the greatest benefit since the interest saving of 362000 exceeds the capital growth of 207000 by 155000 Now, the way to see that uh, graphically is to look at what we call the amortization graph. Or the amortization graph is, if you recall, the uh, the re monthly repayment on the home loan is uh, 5,700. The orange portion represents the interest that you pay on the monthly basis, and the blue portion represents how much of the of the original 660 or thousand loan you pay back on a monthly basis. As you can see, over the period, the interest. Rep repayment is a substantial portion of how much you pay back every month and this is indicative of the fact that the term of the loan is over a 20 year period. A basic rule of thumb is the longer the term of a loan, the lower the monthly premium but the more interest you'll pay over that entire term. But if we took the 10,000 and we pumped it into, into settling the debt, it would have changed the picture completely. As you can see, uh, the, the period reduces substantially and the amount of interest repaid over that period is reduced too. So this is this a graphical representation of what we just looked at. If you're interested at looking at the numbers on a month-to-month -month basis, there's a second tab on the calculator, and you can see the, the actual numbers in more detail. 
Right, but what if, if it was more beneficial to actually invest it? Let's see what the calculator would tell us then. Uh, if we reduce the term year to let's say 5 years, you can see that, uh, well if we go straight to the conclusion it will tell us. It will say, therefore investing provides the greatest benefits since the capital growth of 80,000 exceeds the interest saving of 71,000 by 8,000. So either way, this calculator will tell you whether it's more beneficial to settle your debt or whether you should rather use that uh, that cash flow to, to invest. Hope you find this useful. If you've got any questions, let me know. I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.